over here making a house call. Uh, one of my good friends, Fabian Abeda. We want to check out his 6-4. Let's see if uh, Fabian's willing to open up the garage door for us. Fabian! What's up, Fabian? I'm just in the neighborhood, man. Yeah, do you mind if I come and stop in? What's up, everybody? It's Fabian Abeda. We're out here in, uh, where are we at, Fabian? Brighton. In Brighton, Colorado. Check it out, man. We're just making some house calls today, man, to see if uh, we can come uh, take a look at your ride and show everybody what you're doing out here. Sure. Wow, she's a beauty, Fabian. Yeah. Nice lift, man. Must be nice to have that, building low riders, huh? <laughs> yeah. It helps. Right on. You think we can move this car out, man, and show everybody what we got going? What's up everybody? This is a low rider connection and we're connecting with Colorado low riders with some badass rides. So please stay tuned every week for another episode. Today we got Fabian Abeda out of Brighton, Colorado. What's up Fabian? How are you? I'm good bro. Thanks for letting us uh, get with you today and film your badass car. I know this car has taken some major changes in the last year. Um, what kind of changes did you do? Uh, uh, we painted it, did all the body work again. We uh, had shovel come out, pinstripe and leaf it. We had new interior, a lot of new accessories, some more engraving, so a lot, a lot of chrome plating and, and repolishing, straightening out the, the, all, all the stainless, and just taking it to the next level where it needed to be. You could tell, man, it's a beautiful car. Mm -hmm. So, who painted the car and what color is the car? Um, the person that painted it is Alfred Mascarinas, a really good guy. Um, known, known him for years, does great work. And uh, the color is called, it's a, it's a Audi, um, it's called Solar Orange. Um, we, and we put a gold pearl over it, and a lot of clear. A lot of clear, it, it yeah. shines real hard, man. And then Chavo came in, and it looks like he did variegated candy leafing um, throughout the whole car, the whole, yeah. from the top, everywhere. Bottom, door, and door, door jams, jams trunk everything. jams, under the hood. Yeah, you can so. tell. Speaking of the engraving, man, beautiful engraving. Who did all your engraving on this car? Um, it was David Blair. He's done it from front to back. You know, I, d 
just decided to, to stay with one person and just, you know, he's really good at what he does, you know, so I, I think it's beautiful. So Fabian, I see that you've changed the whole interior out from inside the car to the trunk and who helped get this interior looking this great? Um, well, I, I uh, took it to the guy that I did it the first time, his name is Jesse Lee and he's He's, a, he's been around in Colorado for a long time. And really, really dependable, respectable, just a good old dude, you know, he was good with these old cars. And then some of the other stuff that I did on Almond here was, um, we, we striped it as well, just to match it. Then we did some accent pieces from, of course, you. And uh, we did um, a lot of billet inside from Billet Specialties. Man, the interior came out beautiful from inside to the trunk. Uh, who did your airbag setup? I did it myself with the um, help of Joe from Techniques. And uh, Dominic did all, all, all the, he bent all the lines and uh, landed the tank. And I just kind of figured out all the placement and everything with all the LEDs and you did the you did the glass work on it, so I, I just try to in, in, incorporate a lot of people that I know that can give me a, a hand, and then Omar got me straight for some of the wiring and then the, some of the, the other stuff in it. Nice, man. It sounds like and it sounds like pretty much the whole team that kind of tackled a lot of this car has pretty much been from Colorado on the trunk. Huh? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so all your plating, you I think you replated from the side trim, the grill, you replaced a lot of stuff, man. Who did the plating and the polishing? Um, the polishing was done from Schmitty's in, in Nebraska, and then and then all the, all, the, all the chrome plating, minus the bumpers, got done from Royal Plating, and then the bumpers were done in um, southern, northern Colorado, in Yuma. Yeah, I, I've heard of that little uh, chrome shop up in Yuma. They do really good work. What kind of wheels and tires are you riding on? Oh, I got I got some some five twenties, and then I just got some seventy two cross lace. Clean. They look great, man. You got the orange chip in there, and that five twenty. Just the way the five twenty looked, just it, it just looks great, man. It's always been a beautiful tire. What are some of the things that you like to do when? there's no car shows and you're just out and you have the day ahead of you what do you like to get in the car and just take the cruise yeah we like to go just take it anywhere like you know i've, I've taken it to home depot i've taken it to starbucks <laughs> just tacos in it, yeah, you know like everything it's a driver you know like yeah i'm saying i take it on the highway we'll go to the colden cruise you know i'm saying i live way out here and everything is typically out, out south so yeah you're right yeah, yeah we drive it that's it's great to hear man because you know that's where Low riding pretty much started just out cruising on the yeah. boulevard or in you know your neighborhood, your side of town. Yeah. So, what what makes the backdrop so low? Is it stock it's just or? how it's bagged and then and then just the um, the the bag brackets. You know, I, I could even cut them a little bit more and drop it even even more. Yeah, it's it's really nice, super nice. And your headlights? They're um, Octagon Octane light. Yeah. Nice. So, and you got some lights throughout the interior the trunk, as well, yeah. the trunk, Every, everywhere. Yeah. The motor. So when when you first started building this car, like from the first time, um, did you put a, a motor in the car? No, actually, I, I got the car. It had the original motor, original tranny, everything, but the motor was locked up. So my mom's neighbor, which he, he works on cars and builds motors, he, he uh, told him to drop it off. And, he got it. He, he got it broke loose, and then he rebuilt it, and we threw it all back in. So it's it's all the original power plant, you know. So badass. Thanks. So, what kind of cars have you owned in the past, man? Like like starting out in high school. So I'm pretty sure. So you know the high school in high school you had something. I had a lowered slam slam Chevy Love pickup on discs. Like the Moonies, the yeah, Moonies discs. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, then I had I Rock. 1510 Caves and Quasars. Then I had um, a uh, a Honda Accord on small center wheel D's. Oh damn! And then, <laughs> it, and then uh, 
I got, then we got the Chevelle and we did two, two facelifts on, on the Chevelle, you know. And that was a frame off car. That was correct? a frame off turntable car. What kind of special like customizing um, did you do on that car? On, on that car, we uh, shaved every, everything and then cut the roof off, capped it so it kind of looked, looked like a, a real convertible. Um, put put a two pump whammy in the firewall and there was two pumps in, in the trunk. And you know, again, we just candy paint, striped it, you know. The I, works. The works, you know. Yeah. All centered with these, is you know, took from clip, you know, I just it was probably it, it, it was a good ni early nineties era lowrider, you know. And then I'm pretty sure you probably took a lot of uh, trophies, a lot of trophies, traveled, traveled states, se second place sweeps a couple times, and you know just. Just had a lot of good timing, you know, with that car. Yeah, and I'm gonna post some of those pictures of the Chevelle on here, plus the the whammy tank and everything like that. Sweet. And we do have some pictures that you're gonna give to me of how the car started. Right. So yes. people can see, you know, from what it started with and now to the, the progression you made now. Any uh, special thanks that you want to give to anybody on this car, on this build? I want to give a special thanks to Alfred, Masquerines, Booker, um, Brian, um, Dominic, Joe from Techniques, um, my wife, my son, and just a lot of my close friends, you know, that have been here and put up with my, you know, headaches, you know, so. And then there's, there's just, a, just a handful of people that I haven't named, you know, I just give a lot of thanks to the people that have been on this journey with me. That's what's up, man. And that's that's one thing Colorado is pretty cool on, you know. Um, there's a lot of car clubs that get together and hang out. And I think that's super positive, man. That's the way it needs to be, you know what I'm saying? And I think it's more about, like, like the shows are, the shows are cool too, but I think now it's the kickbacks and then all the videos you see of the cars actually cruising on the pavement, you know? Yep. I think that they should get back to more of that where, you know, like, you know, it, I, I think that it's just great just to be around, you know, the other builds, the other guys that are right next to you doing, doing the same shit that you're doing. Yeah. So Fabian, man, thanks again. We really appreciate you letting us come in your garage on this beautiful Saturday to come film your car and talk to you about the history of the car and the history about you uh, being in low riding. And we just want to say thanks again and see you out on the boulevard cruising, man. For sure, thank you. And with that being said, next week we're gonna come back with another episode of a badass low rider from Colorado. So please stay tuned, please like and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>